Move. Just reset. But here we go. We got Robin. Best Robin in the world. Against Snake. We got the Cheetah Prince Snake. I like it. Feeling a little funky, Bobo. Okay. A lot of projectiles. And that and that's going to be big in this matchup. Snake had a really good grenade. Grenade is a really good projectile. But Robin has insanely good projectiles. Like... Really, really good projectiles. Anytime he sees Bobo pull a grenade, he can just he can just throw throw a neutral beat. Like and, and it'll be nice and annoying. How do you get in? How do you get in? Okay. Opting to change the trajectory of his grenades. Kind of throw him on top of the platform. Up air? Ooh, okay. Go for back air. I believe up air is a little faster than back air. Nonetheless. Ooh, look at that. Me. <laughs> Levin. Levin. Oh, you gotta punish that. No punish on the um, that win. Okay. Thunder. I have to go back and pick up the book. Okay. That is good. I like this crawling by Bobo. There's not a lot of things. Uh, Robin has some pretty good normals, but um, kind of gonna have to commit to something. Either go into the air or throw out one of the laggier normals to uh to hit you on the ground. So I like the crawling by Bobo. Ooh, gonna get hit with the 11 sword though. Not gonna die yet. Snake, big boy. Big boy, snake. Mm. Okay, snake at 170. He just needs one. And you can, you can already, you can feel it. Bobo in Bobo's head. He's just, I just need one up tilt. I just need an up tilt. I don't care what percent I'm at. I just need one up tilt. Oh, that was dangerous. She could have went straight to the ledge. I know Bobo wants that one back. Now this is where Jewel wants to be. Now Bobo has to come get him. Zoners, when zoners make you have to come get them, it, that's when the game gets uh, really unfun. You thought it was fun. You thought it was. <laughs> you thought this game wasn't fun playing me when the game was even. Now that I got a stock lead, we're really about to have some fun. Ugh. That B reverse, that wave bounce, kind of threw him off there. Get him go way off the stage. Wasn't able to make it back. Giving Bobo a chance here. Nonetheless, 91% arc fire into fair. Oh, your shield! It's no longer there. Nice job. This is where Snake excels. Oh, he gave up a little, a little bit of an overextension on that. Uh, going into the air with Snake. Giving Jewel the opportunity to get back to the stage. But we reset it right on the right side. How do you make it back? All right, you need some damage here, Bobo. Ooh, going to blow himself up. Mm -hmm. Good punish. Forward smash. And that's dangerous. Now you see Snake can do, can up B as high as he wants, even into the blast zone. As long as he doesn't get hit with a hit, like with any type of hitbox, he'll survive. But the fact that Jewel can throw his Levin Sword or the book up there, all he has to do is touch him, and Snake's gonna die. Now that could be an early stock. Ooh, okay. And then Nikita gonna take the stock. Bobo gotta leave. But that Levin Sword, my, my man, it is meaty. It is meaty. A nice little porterhouse on my arm real quick. Okay. Still in the lead, though. Nice. And that's the thing. When you get hit with arc fire on your shield, if you can tilt your shield forward and up, you make your shield, you make the arc fire activate earlier so you're able to roll back. But if you allow the arc fire to hit you really, like, on in the middle of your shield, you, most of the time you get stuck in it and you'll, be, uh, you'll get hit if you try and come out. Okay, pretty even game right here. Ooh, nice shield. How do you get back? Oh. Okay, not gonna, we're gonna punish the up smash with just a forward tilt. Right, this is insane. This is anybody's game. That crawl was great, but he wasn't able to get there in time. Empty hop into forward tilt. Jewel is really good at uh, parrying. And it didn't look like Bobo conditioned him to. That was like a YOLO F tilt, but I like it. I like it. Sometimes you gotta just do it. Sometimes you gotta just do it. And Bobo did it. Mm. It's really nice. Bobo's it. And I believe, I believe Bobo lost his stock first. That SD by Jewel kind of put him back in the mix, allowed him to uh, recollect his thoughts and get back into the game. Let's see what Jewel's able to do here. Nice, throwing out a hitbox. 
If you usually with a disjoint, you can kind of cancel out the um, the arc fire. But um, if you don't have a disjoint, sometimes it's hard to deal with it. And my man Bobo doesn't care. He's pressing buttons. I am pressing buttons here. I do not care what you think. I don't care how you feel. What kind of projectiles you have. I'm throwing the buttons out. But Jewel, so good at conditioning. That's one of his really strong points. Really good at conditioning people to do exactly what he wants. Whether it's jump, whether it's sit and shield, roll from the ledge. Oh, okay. Yep, that's going to shield poke. His shield is way too small. 124 cent on Bobo. Might have mean Snake puts on damage. Snake just needs to be alive. Snake is that, that type of character. I'm just happy to be here, man. Okay, looks like Jewel figured something out. That fear gonna uh, take that stock out. 88% stand on him right now, but Bobo has a ledge trap situation. Here we go. Back air, gonna space out these back airs. Nice. This is what Jewel shines, his movement, man. Able to keep you out, move around, force you to do something that he wants you to do. This is what Jewel does. Off the stage. Still on his first stock, though. Now, I mean, Bobo doing a good job. He hasn't taken too much damage, which is really good when you're trying, when you're down a stock, when you got to uh, secure a stock. But just like that, he's able to do it. Going to take that stock away. We've got a pretty even game now. Okay. Cypher going to put him in a better position to get out of uh, disadvantage. I need to throw some grenades here. Okay. And I like to see, usually uh, in the snake matchup, you want to you wanna throw the grenades back. That's how you uh, put Snake in a situation where he's not uh, where he's not comfortable. But being that Jewel has his own projectiles to throw back at Snake, he may not want to. Nice B reverse. Nosferatu gonna take some damage. Give me some of that percent back. Okay. Ugh. Fair two. Oh, again. Oh, gonna click with the book. That book saving Jewel. He would have been off stage. That would have been been a really bad situation for him to be at. But these frame traps. These frame traps. All the Fire Emblem characters have really good fares. Okay. Now, this isn't bad for uh, for Bobo. It kind of looks like the last game. Um, he's able to take this stock right here. Jewel might be in trouble. And look at that. The falling back air. Going to put him right in position to do it. Okay. Jewel has him off stage. No jump. Got a couple beer verses though. Ooh, that was dangerous. Ugh. Okay, back throw gonna put him right back off stage. I'm trying to throw a grenade to kind of give him a little a little more space to get back to the stage. I like it. Good job by Joe. Back throw right back off stage. Now you're taking a lot of damage, Bobo. You gotta find a way to get out of disadvantage. Okay, good tag by Joe. More damage. Fair. There you go. Good job by Joe. Textbook play. In that last stock by Jewel. He put Snake in disadvantage, forced him to use all of his resources, B reverse, wave bounce, up B, all of that, punish him for it. Snakes love that B reverse. They love that B reverse. But the thing about Snake is, when he pulls that grenade, if he's in the air, he cannot do anything. He can't drop the grenade, he cannot air dive, he has to fall down to the ground. As soon as he hits the ground, he can, he can act out of it. He can hold shield. He can spot dodge. He can roll. He can do what he needs to do. But until he hits the ground, he is stuck. Jewel doing a really good job of missing the grenade, but still hitting uh, Bobo. Great job by Jewel. Now, um, we see, what he banned? What is that? Uh, Smashville? Yep. Yeah, gonna Smashville. Going to ban Smashville. And he's going to ban Lilac. Okay. You know Jewel wants, I mean, you know Bobo wants a platform. You need a platform. You need something to mix up that, uh, your landings a little bit better. Not too sure where you went, though. I didn't even see that. I was looking at the wrong screen. Nonetheless, I'm pretty sure he picked a platform. He needs a platform. <laughs> you need a platform. Not going to switch characters, though. Going to PS2. Yes, are you need Snake's best stage. Okay, just gonna run up with the grenade. Bobo uh, kind of giving back stage control. He had the center of the stage, which is kind of where you want to be. But uh, I guess he didn't feel comfortable there. Oh, uh, but you're taking damage here, 60% already. 
Nice job by Jewel. Kind of like dashing up to see if he was going to react. He didn't, so he just grabbed him. Okay. Oh, that Cypher going to uh, now turn the tables on this uh, disadvantage situation. Nice. Arc fire, up smash. Meaty. You're dead. You're dead. Oh, I like it. I like it. I lo as long as you don't die here, you're good. Okay. Now we got the dribbling act by uh by Jewel. Mm. Now this is when Jewel is kind of feeling himself. You see his movement kind of picking up. His his uh his op he's kind of throwing out down airs on the platform. That's when he wants to test you, see if you know what you're doing. He starts dribbling the book. Oh, he's damaged. When you're dead! Yo! That was pretty early. Even for Snake, that was pretty early. But that up air gonna do it. My man Snake. Let me take you the boots real quick. The boots. Now, Jewel is really smart. Although he got that back air, he was aiming for the Cypher. He wanted to completely take his Cypher out so he could uh, secure that stock. Nonetheless, not gonna get it. But like we said, Snake is just happy to be here. As long as he's alive, Snake has a chance. And Bobo knows that. Great uh, ledge trap situation for Bobo. Oh, that's the third time he went for down smash there. Hasn't hit it yet. I'd like to see him maybe use a couple of other tools uh, to maybe get some damage. Don't go for the whole run. Ooh, and that is so fortunate for Jewel. Because if he would have got the outside hitbox like that, that stock would have been gone five seconds ago. Nonetheless, Bobo's right in it. Get back here. Ooh. With bad DI, that would have been a stock. Yep. And I am here. I am here for this. I am here for this. Jewel knew. Listen, I know you're not going high. I know you're not going high. Why? Because I'm here with the Levin Sword. So let me just drop down to this uh to this drop zone real quick. Let me take that stock from you real quick. Okay? Yeah, he knew he wasn't going high. Mm. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah. Hate to see it. Good job by Jewel, though. Good job by Jewel. Great job by Bobo. If you guys don't know who Bobo is, now you do.